so hello everyone again and welcome to my channel so in this particular section we're going to be looking at hypervalent iodide chemistry iodide or pretty much i might say iodine in general and it's quite impressive how iodine is quite critical in terms of organic chemistry research because of its complex orbital overlaps here and there which in accommodates various bonding or multiple bonding interactions within the iodine atom so in one particular scenario one we're going to be looking at how we'll be able to transform this particular compound which is a phenol attached to a particular ether group and now we need to transform this to form this particular compound which is pretty much thermodynamically unstable because you're losing the aromaticity of this particular ring what are the reagents that we can use to actually convert this to that one reagent or reagent combination you can use includes the following you could use an acetyl attached to an iodide and the iodide is attached to a benzene group over here alongside this and methanol which is actually a solvent in this particular process over here so what we get now is to find a mechanism that will be able to prove that this particular reagent is actually fitting in the conversion of this to that will be as follows we are assuming here that we have the main reagent which is that at the top over here and this oxygen has lone pairs over here this lone pair over here will actually undergo a nucleophilic attack on the iodide as a result of that as it attacks this iodide over there it kicks off this particular process by an SN2 reaction over here or what that gives is a fused product or I would say an intermediate with a positive charge on the oxygen and then the iodide is actually placed over here and O AC left at the other side of the iodide over there once this is kicked off this particular compound forms a negative charge over here and what happens then is that this actually extracts this particular hydrogen over there and what happens then is that this particular bonding pair over here becomes a lone pair on the oxygen for the oxygen to become neutral however this process must also be a kind of a free flow of electrons where we need to be able to form a double bond in this particular case but before I do that let me just remove this hydrogen over here one other reaction another reaction that can happen in here is that this lone pair of on the oxygen over there moves over there and then this pi system then rearranges itself in such a way that you form a double bond over here and then this particular bonding pair becomes a lone pair on this particular iodide over there so as a result of that you're gonna form compound over here while this iodide over there leaves now 
you need to note here that there's also a methyl group over here and over here there is a positive charge over there on the oxygen you also have to realize that this is in a sea of a solvent which is methanol right so what happens then is that methanol comes in with lone pairs on the oxygen and what happens then is that this lone pair attacks this particular carbon over there and then this particular body pair becomes a lone pair on the oxygen thereby making it to become neutral what you get is and now since this oxygen has a positive charge to make it neutral either the solvent or this particular compound over here extracts this particular hydrogen over here but it's way better to say the solvent actually picks up the hydrogen so the solvent in the solution then comes by with this lone pair also comes in here and, and removes this hydrogen and then the bonding pair over here becomes a lone pair on the oxygen and what you get over here is our product and this is really possible with the help of the hypervalent nature of iodine or iodine that was being used in this particular reaction over here so it kind of is as a catalyst in this process and it's pretty much an impressive reaction overall but anyways I'm going to show you another scenario where you can do this particular iodide chemistry in various of chemical reactions overall anyways thanks again for watching and please don't forget to hit the like button share and subscribe I hope you follow this reaction and be smart